Good afternoon, folks. Now we're doing a rather cool... There we are. With Kirill. So, this is old school. Something that hasn't been done before. So... How are we doing? All right. Hello. Good, good, good. Nice to see you. And you, and you. Well, thanks for joining me. It's been, it's, it's good to have you here. So we just it's, make sure that the phone is charging correctly. That's all. That's just in my pleasure. Let me just switch off the lights here. Swap the charge leads over. Yeah. Just make sure everything's on charge, and so it goes, goes to plan. Fabulous. How is your studio today? It's good. Well, the, the mobile studio outside, this is the back of the car, so you can probably see it here. So there's the, there's the back of the car, there's my laptop there. Oh. That's, the, that's where the passenger seat was. So it's a car that's been converted in to a mobile, uh, a mobile studio, essentially. So, is it based in the garage? Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm outside the house, yeah. So I'm in, oh, I'm yeah. in the car outside. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yes, yeah, so this is the, the plan. Right, I'm going to run around to the driver's seat right now. <laughs> if you just want to introduce what the car is, that'd be awesome. Yeah, okay. So, let's just wait for you for a second. There we are. There you go. There I am. I jumped in here now. I'm just good. making sure I got that there as well, so I can see who's joining. And just... Uh, so, how, how you doing today? You, you having a good day so far? Good, good, good. Amazing. I mean, so far, obviously, look the weather outside. It's kind of rainy here, so after yeah. that, we can do. Yeah, it's not not so great here. It's a uh, it's a bit it's a little bit miserable. But you know, what can you do? It's uh, it's the the great British weather for you. It's, in a, it's a British in, weather, yeah. So yeah, far. in uh, in January, it's it but is what it is. I think is the is the uh, is the is the phrase. So. Uh, so yeah, so just so I've got so it's so this is a a gas gas a, yeah that's a gas Volga M twenty one model three. Awesome. It's so kind of difficult. I mean, it's it's yeah, but a nice bit of old school. So what what age is it? How how old is it now? So what's the age of the vehicle? So this car is a nineteen sixty nine, and it's a Russian made. Cool. Um, so. If you want to hear a bit of the history of this car, we need to go back to the to the time just after the Second World War, when um, the Russians, after the, the war, they have apparently all of the equipment that they produced for the war, you know, the tanks, the vehicles, the trucks or whatever. So after they finished the war, they're supposed to build something that's going to help them to, uh, to boost the economy. So they use all of these helmets from the soldiers and... Um, some of the machinery and start to produce a car, which is um, the, 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 the name of the car was uh, Pobeda, which means victory. So that was they celebrate the victory of the war. So after the Pobeda, they start to produce that one, which is a Volga. So this is more efficient, more fast, more lighter, because the first cars, cars was a bit um, like tanks, obviously. Volga is also like tank, it's a massive, and um, <laughs> I've come across a few pictures on the internet, so the, f so the first time when they start producing is um, 1957, so at that time they bring the car here in the uh, UK for an um, exhibition, and um, you know, the car was completely different to the cars that people, they used to see at the streets because it's uh, bigger, and it's not sport car, and it's not... Um, doesn't have anything electric inside, for example, you know, electric windows or electric mirrors or whatever. So it was kind of um, basic, straightforward. So when they bring us here, when they bring the car here, uh, the British, they give the name of the car like a nickname, City Tank, because it was heavy and it was completely different than the cars uh, at that time. Yeah, so, imagine, yeah. So, that, so I'm just going to start doing the drawing. So. So the initial outline is done without taking the pen off the paper, hence why it's called continuous car drawings. And in that time, we'll have a little chat about it. And it's really interesting to find out the first, first bit of history about it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So in terms of, you know, kind of, I mean, I, I, I lived out in, in, in Latvia, out in Riga, um, for, for three months whilst I was at uni. 
Um, obviously, you know, Latvia was part, you know, used to be part of, of Russia and, you know, kind of, the, you know, it's Eastern Europe. So was this kind of, this guy kind of similar in terms of the Moscovich? Where, where yeah. did the Moscovich fit? Yeah, the Moscovich is a different brand. It's like a Peugeot and Citroën. There's yeah. two different uh, manufacturers of the Russians at that time. So uh, if you live in Riga, so obviously you probably see that car somewhere there on the streets. They used to have them so far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, yeah, what, what I love about, about, about Riga is that you had a mixture of like, you know, you know really new stuff. Like, yeah, I, I, imagine, I mean, remember first seeing a, a Porsche Cayenne was actually out in, out in Riga before I saw it in the UK. Um, yeah. Um, but then you've also got a lot of old school stuff like this, kind of, particularly out in um, when you, you know, when you leave Riga, the city centre, and, and you go out towards the the smaller towns and stuff. And there's a lot of these cars still, yeah, you know, maybe not in working order, but they're still they're still around. So it's easy to maintain because uh, you know, remember this car? They used to produce them so on a big number, so they still have parts there in Russia and all of the. Countries to the link to 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 Russia, like you know, like um, Eastern European skirt, like Bulgaria, for example. Because I'm coming from Bulgaria, we used to have this car so often. So that car, for example, they used to produce on a different um, different models. They used to have a model for a taxi, which is with the two separate seats on the front, one for the driver, one for the customer. Because my car, for example, the the for the the seats they are connected all together, so it's like a six seat car you can oh, wow. yeah you can see you can fit inside the driver with five people inside easily so, so, is that, so, is that, so that three seats so it's like three seats across the front like the so three seats across the front and then three seats across the back correct <laughs> yeah, awesome so were these used as like you know were these kind of used as like public vehicles like almost taxis and stuff as well yeah they used to have uh, even um you know ambulance uh fire stations, or, I mean, car for fire fire stations or whatever. So they used to have pickups, you know, estate cars, different yeah. models. I mean, the same chassis, the same agent, but a different models of the car, different uh, bodies. So um, after, you know, after they start producing, they change a bit. For example, the first model was uh, 57 when they start. And it's on the front. And as a badge, they used to have a star. And after that, they change it a bit, you know, they change some parts or whatever, they, the, the, the gears, they make it more efficient and they change it uh, without the star. And my one apparently is the third model, which is without the star and it's a bit different, um, different, different body from the front and from the back. But, you know, the, the main thing is pretty the same of all of the cars from um, 1957 to 1917, they produced this car. And it was so popular all over the world. They used to have them in different countries and, you know, they're still driving them probably. But it's, you know, it's kind of unique because here, when I come here in UK, like uh, six years ago, probably already. So I realized that uh, people never heard about that car. And I start to do my researches and I come across just uh, 18 cars registered here on the UK. Oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah. So when I bring that car here in Cambridge, because uh, now we live and we're in Cambridge. So when I bring the car here and start driving it around the streets, it was super funny because, you know, it's a um, completely different view from the people they used to, to see before. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, people were starting uh, stopping me in the streets, asking me questions about the car. There was you know, some of the people there, actually, they think that it's American because I was the say, body... it does it does look quite cat like kind of, Cadillac. It's got that kind of feel of, 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 of that kind of 1950s America about it as well. Yeah. Don't forget that this car is coming from the time that, you know, the Soviet Union, that there was all this um, behind the Iron Curtains time. Yeah. So they used to spy on each other, how they produce in cars. So no one knows which cars start to produce first. But the Russian, they said that they start producing, you know, Kubiera and uh, Volga, my, my car, for example first than the, than the Americans. And you know, the Americans at that time, they used to have automatic cars, they, they used to have a diesel engines and everything. That car, the Volga M, uh, M21, then tried to produce a few, a few with the diesel engines and they're selling it in France and here in UK, but they're not so popular. I mean, probably they still have a few, but it, it was 
long time ago. So there is the beginnings of your car. There we are. There's the, there's, there's the start wow. of it. Looks amazing. So there wow. we are. So now, okay. now, so, so, so it's, it's, a, it's so it is a really kind of it's kind of is it like taxi black the, in terms of the color? Is it is it a very dark black? No, no, no. So they, as as I told you, they used to have this model for the taxi, but in Russia, the taxis there was the silver with the red. Um, with the red top, and they used to call them red hats. Right. Like, you know, in, um, like in New York, they have, you know, the, the taxi, they have the specific color. Here yep. they have the UK, the taxi. So the Russian, they kind of copy paste that, but they have the red hat. This one, this one particularly mine, the black ones, they used to produce black ones only for the official government, or government official, which oh, means right. people from the military, um, military generals or, you know, kind of police officers or whatever. And it's, um, at that time, was so difficult to buy that car. You need to go and it's, um, you write your name on the list. That was uh, the way that you buy the car on, um, you know, on the Soviet Union. Doesn't matter who you are, what kind of work you got, what kind of money you have, you're going on the list and you have to wait. So that's one of the things that is kind of unique on the market there because, you know, uh, the person who bought the car, he wait for the car around eight years to own it. Wow! So he's on, on, on a waiting list for for uh, for, uh, for for eight years. Yeah. And and then then they invite you in the official shop, and you you already own the car. You know, you pay for it or whatever. So that was the same. That was the same story in um, in Bulgaria, also in Russia, in all of the countries around. Yeah, wow. So, so, and in terms of you know, in terms of the spec inside, is it is it is it quite a unique spec? Has it got some interesting features inside? Yeah, yeah. I mean, my car is kind of um, um, it's not restored. It's not officially restored. It's not a project car. So the way you see the car is that's the way it's uh, go out from the shop. I bought it from the person who bought it from the official shop in Bulgaria, and. Yeah. Uh, I'm so lucky that uh, I'm also the, um, the invoice from the car, which is wow. kind of, you know, give a, a value of the car also. So inside the seats, I kind of keep them in original style with yep. original leather and original texture. So, but to be honest, inside at that time, they, they, they used to have only the steel, um, they, they used to have only the steel floor and the steel roof. There's no leather, there's no nothing fancy. So after I bought it, I produce a carpet and, you know, the leather roof and a this and that, which, you know, you make it kind of nicer to, to drive it now. So, so, where, so where, in, where in Bulgaria was it originally purchased? Is it, was it where, what, what, what city is it originally from? So the car was, was bought in a city next to the seaside. It's one of the biggest city. And it, uh, it was driving there from this guy. And after that, uh, a friend of mine, he bought the car from him. He, not from him, for the person who keep it, apparently. And um, he kept the car in the garage for, let's say, five years under the cover. I mean, he didn't make nothing on it or whatever. So one day he just uh, made up with this idea. If you want to buy the car from me, just let me know. And I bought it for him. And, um, you know, I started to use a few things. That they, I used to have a problem with the tank fuel. It was kind of difficult for me to find, you know, an original tank fuel because it was the two options. One to reduce the old one or just to repair it, or the second one just to find the, the new fuel tank. So I did connect to a few shops in Russia and I find brand new tanks, but it was so difficult to deliver to, to Bulgaria. I mean, the, the cost of the fuel tank could be more expensive than the normal one. So I was so lucky because um, a few chaps in Bulgaria, they just reply, oh, I have a brand new at my garage, you know, and it, it's yours. So it changes with the new one. So, so after that, you know, I think the car is so here. So that's, that's all that it, it needed. It just needed a, so a new fuel tank, and that was, you know, so that was the, the thing that it needed yeah. most. Yeah, I mean, I changed a few stuff. Uh, I, did, uh, I did buy new tires. I make them a bit more fancy with the, you know, with the white ring on the side. I did 
change a few lights, but just a, just a few of just a bits, just a bits, because you know uh, this car is kind of super co uh, old, so the investment and everything it's not so huge. It's just it was really really good maintained at at, at the years. I mean, I mean, it looks like it's in be absolutely beautiful condition. So, 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 in terms of what, what, what's under the engine, then, what, so what, what powers it? What's the, what's the engine size? The, the, the engine is two point five, and it's a 70, 75 horsepower, and it's, it's not very fast. It's kind of you know, mm, slow car, but it's powerful because it's kept only three gears. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it's a, uh, it, it's, it's a bit noisy. When I start driving it here in Cambridge, people used to ask me, oh, is it a 12E? I was like, no, 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 it's just, <laughs> just basic. It's, it's because it's straightforward and it's, uh, the engine is old. So that's why it's kind of noisy. And, it, and is, it, is it a bit, is it like a, in, the, in that body, is it, is it a bigger engine? Is there a lot of space underneath there? Or, you know, is it, is, yeah, is it, is it quite... yeah, yeah, but because the body of the car is quite a big, so the engine is, really good maintain inside it's kept space for everything you know the funny the funny thing is that i used to have some problems with the. Um, it's like a pump when you when you put the um, the the wind wiping stuff for the when it's raining you know you have the um the, the thing which cleaning the windows so they're not automatic Apparently, the water is not coming through the electricity. It's coming with the pump. So you need to press the, it's like a pedal. You press the pedal and it makes compression and it puts the water on your wheels, on your window. So it was kind of difficult for me to, to repair that. But yeah, I did find a brand new also. It's, it's good because this car used to produce so many, you know, different types and whatever. So even I, I managed to to find for the car a brand new key, which is from the factory, from the factory label gas. Hey, awesome, awesome. So, so in terms of uh, places you've been with it, in terms of, yeah, in a normal year, would you be going out to kind of shows and events with it? Yeah, I mean, my dream is to participate here in UK because um, I imagine it's going to be interesting for the people to see that car compared to the other cars. And, um, in Bulgaria, this car it's never go to any exhibition or events because it was kept in the garage. Here, when I moved in UK, I did manage to put the car in a few magazines, which um, you know the public was uh, making a big interest because it's a different car for the the cars that people used to see here. Yeah. So that's and, my dream. And, I, and as you say, there's there's not that there's not that many on the road. Yeah. No, there's, there's... That is not. It's not. It's a one in. Um, it's a one in London, red one, which um, I find it on Instagram, and uh, uh, it's uh, the Russian family. They keep it for the advertising, and I drive it sometimes. And it's in. It's, it's also it's in a really good condition, but it's red. It's not. Uh, it's not black. The black. So, yeah. So yeah that, that's much more of a, a you know a, a privately owned whereas. The black ones were much more like official cars. They were, they were... Yeah, yeah. And it, that's original color. I mean, even on the invoice, you can see that it's bought black. It's, it's repaint with the brand new paint, but it's still with the black under that. Yeah. So I presume you, 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 uh, you had a bit of a road trip to bring it over here then? Yeah, I mean, um, I did connect to a friend of mine who have a truck, so he bring it over. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of easy, and uh, it's a funny story. He told me, "Oh, you know, when I crossing the borders, the people were stopping me and asking me, are you selling this car? Can I buy it for you?'" <laughs> no, 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 it's not for sale. <laughs> it's uh, it's being delivered, right? No, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's That's great. I'm just getting the the, uh, the colours in, in there. Um, nice. So where where was this where was this photo taken? So this is this is. Got a bit of nice background behind it. If, yeah, this photo is here um, just in front of the King's College, which is the main um, college here in um, Cambridge. And it's next to the Volvo. It's the old Vespa. Yeah, I saw and that. The Vespa is owned for, of a friend of mine who is a um, participant of the, you know, here in Cambridge, they have um, old Vespa motorcycles club. And it's right. around 200 people. So... It's kind of fancy, you know, to drive Vespa here around. Probably that's going to be my 
next project to buy old Vespa. You never know. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? So, so, so is this, I presume this, this isn't your daily car, or is, is this just for, for, you know, for, for days that you like to go out in it? No, no, no. It's not my daily car at all. I mean, I keep it on the garage, under the cover, and it's, you know, I'm driving it sometimes in the weekends, but mainly on the weekends. And uh, it's a car not for every day. It's a car for expositions and for events. Yeah, yeah, no, and, and understand. You want to, you want to keep it in in good con in the condition that it is at the moment. It's, it, it looks uh, it looks great. Yeah, it uh, it was a massive interest when I start participate here on um, on the local classic car club. You know, people starting asking me questions about the engine and everything because it's a uh, you know obviously it's the only one car of that type here in uh, Cambridge. So no one seen that car before. So. People, they're looking forward to see it, but because of the COVID now, everything is, you know, closed and it's delayed. So hopefully next year we'll meet each other and people, they will enjoy the car. Yeah, hope, yeah. I mean, uh, it's certainly missing missing shows. It's, uh, you know, not, not being at car shows and events um, is certainly, uh, you yeah, know, what I, what I really enjoy doing. So it's, uh, yeah, looking forward to when we can can go out once again properly yeah, and meet each other and you so see different people and different cars that's people missing that you know they're fed up sitting at home yeah i mean uh i mean luckily i'll be able to uh to convert the car into a mobile studio so I, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not i'm not stuck in the house uh all the time i can just uh pop out into the car and have a change of scenery so it's yeah. um, you're lucky having people like me, you know, <laughs> giving your cars to draw. Yeah, I mean, that, but for me, that's what the project has been about: is is chatting to people, getting to know people, and you know, and, and drawing things that I would never, I would never have painted because it's it's uh, you know, it's a great opportunity to connect with people and and find out how how they 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 own the cars and how they they became you know, how this cars you know is, is yours and and stories that you've got about it. Yeah. You know, interesting story about that model for the um, M21, it's is that um, Yuri Gagarin, he used to have uh, a few of those cars. Apparently he received one of the cars as, um, as a present after, after he landed after the, his flight to the space. And the second one uh, as a present also, and they have a specific number plates. And in Russia, they still keep the cars in original shape with the original number plates so my car also is kind of famous that it's a uh, yuri gagarin's car because uh, he's famous with that that uh, he used to collect uh, sport cars and he uh, even he bring uh, you know this uh, this this one volga m21 he bring it to the um, to the to his science ship he they produced for him a science ship which is um, the purpose of produce was you know to to do some uh, research about the planets around and everything. And it was kind of massive. But one of the thing is that he built a garage at the ship specifically for that car. So when the ship landing somewhere, he used to drive that car outside. All right. Yeah, it's uh, good. It's... So it's, it's, it's uh, linked to, uh, you, know, uh, you know, the uh, outer, outer space. Yes. You know, uh... Yeah, and also the black ones. The, 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 the black color of the Volga M21 is uh, world famous as a KGB official car. Right. And um, because um, the, they use the color of the car that kind of uh, hiding the engine. The, the, they produce different, um, different agent or different engine for this car. And they named the car uh, M23, which is the engine was automatic and kind of twice more power powerful than that. And, uh, you know, they used to uh, race with the other cars and, you know, track some um, dodgy guys or whatever. So it's famous with that. They still have a few in Russia, original ones, M23, and they're kind of uh, super expensive. Uh, on eBay, you can find them for 120,000 pounds because of the engine and everything. But wow. the body of the car is completely the same like that. So that was the purpose. Keep the body the same and change the engine. So when you stop at the streets, people doesn't know that is this a fast car or no. <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's like a, uh, I think I call it like a sleeper, like a sleeper car where it's yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's a lot faster than it should be. Yeah, and um, they used to have specific machinery on the on the boots also for spying, for you know, for listening people or whatever. 
yeah no it's uh yeah as i say, having having spent some uh some time out in riga out you know there's certainly uh uh built you know buildings and certain things are you know heavily linked to the to kgb and and how they uh how they uh, spied on uh you know how they you know, kind of had things hidden away <laughs> so you couldn't see that was the part of the history you know it was a history yeah, add a little bit of a hint of blue into it as well just to just to kind of it's becoming like real now it's yeah it's getting nice. right. it's taking shape it's taking shape no it's well it's great nice. it's great to chat to you and and, and find nice. out more about the car so, so you know, um... i have a funny story just because of before i own this car i used to have a um, kind of unique place in sofia which is the capital of bulgaria and it was yep. um uh, it was a car wash and a restaurant on the one place and uh, when we built it i mean the beginning was completely empty there's no customers inside and it was you know difficult to build your crowd people that they used to come and use your services whatever so because it was empty i pick up with this idea to to put in front of the the building a classic car so i found a friend of mine and i took his car and i put it in the front so the first of the car which i used to own was that one which is warsaw which is basically russian car but produced in poland and um the car was so unique and people they used to love it so much so in the end of the in the end of the day i end up with three cars from the same from the same uh, brand <laughs> But you know it's uh, it's unique because you know when you have the history behind the car people stop and taking pictures and appreciate that because you know they used to have the same cars but now because of the because, because of the time and everything you know these cars they just disappeared even in Bulgaria when uh, when I drive this car a few times people you know stopping me asking me questions about it because it's it's rare to see it in the street in a really good condition yeah but you know all people they used to drive these cars and see them you know all the all the time and you know is i have a funny story when i come here um one of my cables of the uh, you know on the engine um make some um, clicks and doesn't work correct so eventually uh, i find a person here in cambridge who is from my country and he maintained the car like uh, you can't even imagine like just with the blind eyes he just opened the boot and started up and he said oh, i used to prepare this car so often so for me just no problem <laughs> it was it was amazing because that was one of the main issue when i was think to bring the car here because you know imagine if if something happened with the car probably if i take the car to the garage people they will look at the car like uh, oh what happened we never see that car but you know now because in UK you have people from Russia from Poland from Bulgaria from everywhere and it's kind of uh, well known for them for them it's just straight straight forward to prepare and repair the car yeah because they they got grown up with it or they they remember their parents having it or yeah you know, friend having it so so yeah these these kind of cars you know have, have got a bit you know a, as much of a history yeah yeah much of the history much of the history I be yeah, up I have I have been to Sofia it's it's a beautiful city as well mm -hmm. is a, is a really pretty pretty place wow um and I, I think is it Sofia that has got the uh there's like you can stay in um like the bunker still what do you mean is there is a there's a like a bunker that you can stay in like a, it's a hotel but it was it was uh it was built into the into the into um like a hillside almost no i don't think so we used to have this and they, they keep the um, the military airplanes on these bunkers but for the hotel i'm not sure to be honest I never heard sophie is famous that we have a street one of the street there in the city center is famous that we have a yellow stone streets which is um kind of linked to the red stone um streets in uh, moscow but right it's, it's a yellow and you know when you have events all of the events they 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 make them there and i i remember when i was uh, you know young you 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 have to go there and watch all of these events and kind of those cars they they've been there also with the flags with the russian flags and everything you know it's uh, it's certainly a, 
it's a very, you know, is a like like I say, it, it's a very striking car and it's very statesmanly with it with its yeah, colours. Yeah, well. they, they they said that they built this car for, to make a statement, not just to you know to produce something fast or something fancy. And even some of the advertising that they used to link here to the, you know, to the Europe, under the advertising said that it's a working horse. You buy it and it's forever. Mm. <laughs> you don't have to maintain the car because it's um, obviously the, um, the steel is very thick. The car, the, the weight of the car is 2.5 tons. It's very heavy. Oh, it's, 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 yeah, it's like a Land Rover. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> and it's very difficult to get rusty. So that's why, you know, it's people buy it and they have it forever if you, if you maintain it well. Whereas, uh, was, uh, yeah, I'm, I've got a, 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 a Vauxhall Chevette from 1977 and it was very much rusty <laughs> like, <laughs> because it, it just rusted apart. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm sure your, your car is in much better condition than mine. So. Yeah, it's, 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 it's strange. No, even under the car, there's no rust at all. Because um, my car, for example, it's uh, not driving so often. It's on, um, it's I think it's a 100, 140 or forty thousand kilometers so far. Mm. And I, I used to be a bit, um, you know, it's that's not normal, you know, so so low numbers. And I asked a friend of mine who had the same car in Sofia, and he said if the car was owned of the military person, he's probably driving this car only for the some specific events or whatever, so that's probably the correct numbers of the car, yeah. fourteen thousand. Yeah, so it's, it's only being used occasionally rather than a rather yeah. than a lot. So. Yeah, as you said, it's not the car for every day. It's just for events or something like that, or or to do a statement. It's, yeah. it's, it's very famous in uh, in Europe. People said, you know, have a, it's not the bad reputation, but the reputation of about the KGB car, and. Um, you know, when it's uh, because it's black and everything, so probably they used to use this car for something like that. Also, you never yes. know. I'm just getting the uh, dropping in some more detail to it. Nice. So what? So what other cars would you like to see drawn? What? Yeah, obviously there are quite a few models. What? What are the kind of classics? Or I mean, yeah, what? I prefer I prefer to see some classic cars because you know the shapes and everything is uh, it's unique and it's uh, it's history, and you know we we need to look at the at the history when we're building the new cars because now, my opinion that the car is a bit boring. You know, they're getting electric and everything, and they're just a bit boring. There's no there's no soul on them. There's no there's nothing. Mm. Hmm. So more more interesting class. I, I I will do my best to do more interesting classic cars because yeah, uh -huh. they're really they're really enjoyable to draw because they're they're curvy and they yeah they're really they're really lovely things to draw classic cars. So uh, I definitely will show this picture to to my friends and probably we have a few more people that they would. I'm more than happy. Yeah, like uh, well the the aim is to get eight hundred done by the end of uh, January. That's the that's the aim. Um, and then we're, we're producing a series of books. As well, that well, will be crowd, yeah, successfully crowdfunded. So, so each every two hundred will be a, will be a, what is aiming to be a book. So we're working on number one is near completion. Working number two at the moment. Oh, so my car will be on the book also. It will be in book four. So we took six hundred six hundred to eight hundred will be will be there. So I'll um I'll get you to write some uh, if you can tell me some information about it. Like yeah, so I can then put it into the book. That's the uh, that's the aim of uh, of it as, as well. So they'll be coming out kind of mid, yeah, kind of April time. I think is the is the aim. So as well as continuing to create ones to order as well. So it's uh, uh, it's going to be interesting for the public, you know, to see different shapes and different cars on. Oh yeah, and right, yeah, whole range. Yeah, and you kind of get a couple of themes. Yeah, there's there's quite yeah quite a lot of kind of minis and so to get something really different is really exciting. Mm -hmm. and, because it you know it just breaks up the you know you want you want it a whole range of different cars and different colours and and all sorts. So it's really interesting to have something like this as well. Wow, I mean I'm happy with that. <laughs> so I, I presume you had to like re like re register it as well. Like so when when you when you go to get have it on the UK place, you had to you know, kind of re re register it when it, when it came over. 
Yeah, it was it was funny because you know I did manage to to change the number plates and everything. It was uh, difficult because of the COVID, because everything was delayed or whatever. But the the funny part was uh, when I tried to insure the car. Most of the companies they did they didn't even hear about this brand. <laughs> 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 so I sent them a pictures and everything, and after that everything was uh, you know go smoothly. But before that, you know, on the system, it's not existed as a manufacturer. Yeah, you, you can't find it. So they had to uh, had to put a new uh, a new <laughs> add in a new brand because they they weren't quite sure what it was. I I, I don't think that they add a new brand because you know I don't expect that so many people that will bring Vogus here. But it's uh, it's kind of rare. It's kind of rare. Yeah, that's um, good. In UK, I have a few. They're not my friends, but you know, I follow a few people in. Um, Facebook, they're from Australia, and I have two of them. They have a black ones also, and they they claim that there's the only only two cars in Australia. Yeah, well, it wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, you know, if uh, yeah, particularly if they're kind of official cars, and that yeah, that they uh, they were yeah brought over in some um, in some capacity with yeah with yeah governments or or, or whatnot. Yeah, I come across a picture in um, internet, and the picture is here in UK, in front of the Buckingham Palace, and it's um, the first model of Volga, which is owned uh, by the uh, Russian embassy. So the first Volga here in UK was owned by them, and it's a black, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's a black one, yeah. Yeah. So it's de yeah, definitely, yeah, uh, definitely official there. So it's uh, it's adding the plate in there. Well, it's been awesome. So, yeah, well, uh, wow. get that, that. Let's finish up that grilling. And uh, it's 700 and I think it's 40. Yeah, it's 748 in the series. Mm -hmm. So, fabulous. And we've got uh, a couple more to do this evening. Wow. Uh, so we've got a Suzuki Jimny coming up at six o'clock. Um, we've got a Ducati motorcycle as well. Jimny is a bit funny car, my opinion. <laughs> well, the, is that the new the new one or the old one? The old one. I love them. I think they're great. I love, <laughs> I, I love the Jimnys. They've got so much character. So no. <laughs> little, uh, the little, uh, little. Uh, I, mean, for... I, I can describe myself as a you know person who loves the cars, but that one is just. <laughs> <laughs> no, not so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I hope, I hope you, hopefully you'll like it. it, it it'll look, uh, it's going to be done with Matt Watson uh, doing his Suzuki Jimny. So, wow. You have uh, a lot of famous people, you know, dra drawing the cars there with you. Well, it's, I mean, I mean, the 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 the, the flip side or the you know, the, the the good side, not the good side, but yeah, because every, you know, a lot of people are working from home and. You know, normally people are out and about busy, and because they've got to work at home, they have a bit of time to um, to chat. Plus, I think the chats kind of help people. They like mm -hmm. it's a bit of normality because yeah, you know, you know, people are not going out very often. So it's um, you know, it's, it's it's been really nice to to have the chats um, whilst uh, yeah, whilst doing this. It's yeah, you know, it's developed quite nicely. And so yeah, some of them got oh, some of those chats are on YouTube as well, so you can watch watch them back on YouTube too. Wow. And it's a good idea when you're doing that because, you know, people, they love their cars and they, they will keep these drawings and they will share with, with some other friends or whatever. It's a, it's a really good idea. Yeah, and then, and then we're also, you know, they all get documented. They, they, a lot of them get scanned as well so that then um, then the uh, the merchand yeah, merchandise and mugs and T-shirts and, and all that kind of stuff is done as well. So. Wow. So yeah, it's been it's been a busy busy uh, busy year since nice. well. Nice. Since As people said, you know, when the life give you a lemon, you need to make a lemonade. <laughs> yeah, that's so, that's what I've that's what I've tried. Yeah, I've tried to make yeah, I made I made some lemonade. So we need to adapt anyway. It's just yeah. we need to adapt. Yeah, and that's and that's, and that's yeah. When 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 it all kind of happened and you know events stopped, so I was like, right, well, I've got to got to do something else. <laughs> so so uh, yeah, so it's. Uh, and then converting the car into a studio—that that was a, that was one of the things done between the two lockdowns. So, um, I know, yeah. So it's just you know, 
there's there'll be more developments with this car and i've got a little van as well that that's going to be turned into a mobile shop um, oh. so uh that you went know, so when events do happen i can be out in the car in the van and uh yes yeah, so people can can uh can purchase uh items wow so i'm just uh, doing that is it is it comfy is it comfy enough um <laughs> it's all right <laughs> i want Yeah, it's, I need to, it's, it's it's good to get out of the car and stretch my legs after <laughs> after after a while. So uh, it's um, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's I can, I could fit in it. That's the main thing. Okay. Little, I could do with some more headroom. That's about hmm. it. I mean, you can <laughs> you can cut the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just put a big sunroof in it or something. So it's uh, some fresh air. You know. Yeah. So. But yeah, this is, it's got a roof rack on it, so yeah, I, yeah. Even if I cut the roof, it would just be straight to a roof rack. So I saw you making the mirrors. It's, uh, you know, the mirrors they're original. I bought them from uh, Saint Petersburg. We fly there with my girlfriend for the mirrors and a few sets from inside the interior of the car. And it was so funny when I went to this official shop. Apparently, they have a gas shop. And on the second floor, they have specifically shelves for the, you know, for the M21. And everything is original. So I went there to buy these mirrors for my previous birthday. And it's so funny when I told them, oh, um, my plan is to bring the car in the UK and driving there on the streets. They was kind of shocked. They was like, <laughs> oh, we have a few customers with Moose Pitch, which is the other brand that, you know, yeah. from Russia. But we never heard of person driving a Volvo in UK. I was like, okay. I'm gonna be the first one then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so is it, yeah, like, like I say, I, me I remember I picked up a when I was in Latvia. I picked up a a, a Moscovich model, and I I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did because there's a there's a there's a museum in in Riga, a car museum. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these is in that car museum. Yeah, I mean Moscovich also is popular, very popular. Even here they have a few. Well, yeah, I mean uh, the Moscovich was like it was it was. Kind of the pop, the popular, you know, the the popular model, wasn't it? So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's a car for the people, <laughs> and uh, and there was very, you know, various, much like this, very, you know, estate models and saloon models and and everything. And sorts, yeah, so. but the, you know, people said that the the Volvo was like uh, the luxury model or the fancy model of the cars in um, in Russia at that time. Yeah, I say it, it looks lovely, uh, and, and yeah, like I say. It's, Yeah, people could use it for like an American mark because of because of how it looks. So you know, it's a uh, it's a uh, yeah, it's a really uh, really good looking thing. Yeah, and it's links to the Yuri Gagarin, which is the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Claim claim to fame right there. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's uh, right, let's get a little bit of shading underneath it as well. Well, thank you so much for for joining me. You really thank have you. been a, yeah been a pleasure. I'll get a I'll get a photo of it uploaded uh, ASAP. So people can, because it's got its own dedicated Instagram Instagram page as well, hasn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. That's Thank right. You. No worries. Wow. And I've, and I've time lapsed it as well, so I'll, I'll post the time lapse so you can see it, see it back, and see the see the car being created. Um, nice. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll say we've got another one at 6 p.m. tonight. I might, I might do another one between now and there, between now and then. I've got a, I've got a couple of I've got a motorcycle to do and a few other things so I must put you need to put your number plate on there as well that's the most important thing nice yeah that's that's very important and I have a specific badge there if you see on the front I have a red oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's also from Russia it's very unique so what, what so what's that it's uh, from one Russian club it says uh, legendary cars and it's in Russian language and it's with the stars. And it's under that it's a CCCP, which was, um, you know, they have the same letters on the of the helmet of the Yuri Gagarin. Oh right, okay. Well, I've I, I put I've put like a, 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 a an area that kind of looks like that. Is there? Yeah. The, the, the back. The back. <laughs> I know it's very difficult. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my 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 Russian language writing isn't 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 great. So, so yeah, it's. Uh, So there we are. So let's uh, to make sure we get the the chrome in there. Wow! And there we are. 
Well, it's been it's been lovely to chat. Uh, so I'll get this uh, I'll get this uploaded ASAP as well. And there is number yeah, oh, so se uh, so seven. What was it? Seven seven seven. Seven four seven, seven four eight. That's what it is. So, so I remember because I remember the last one being seven four uh, seven four seven because of the uh, the link to a seven four eight. Amazing. There we are. Well, thank you so much. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Amazing. No worries. At all. and I'll I'll get that online asap. So amazing. The card amazing. the drawing. And we'll let uh, and it was lovely to chat and we'll speak soon. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. There we are. There is the finished piece. See you later. Uh, I will be back at 6 p.m., but I might do another one in between then, so you can uh, watch it. Uh, watch it back. You can watch it back on IGTV as well. Thanks for watching.